Long story short, never go to sex parties because they're not sexy in any regard. They're not attractive. There's nothing about it that's interesting or fun. There's nothing like, oh, experimental. The whole thing was horrible. The whole thing was nasty. The worst thing about the club, which is something I missed, is that in those confined spaces, you can smell it. Stunk of dick, pussy, meo, sweat. Oh my God, oh, please. That might be the worst thing that ever happened. You know, I watched American Pie the other week, and I thought that would have been the best time to be alive. You know, like 2003. Like you can still call the people you care about if it's a real emergency, but no one's glued to their phone. Yeah. No one's scrolling social media. No one's trying to take an Instagram picture. Everyone's just at the crappy party, enjoying the crappy party. If you ever see a man who's talking about food, oh, I had this amazing steak at this one restaurant. This steak is so amazing. He's broke. He's a brokey. Because if the steak was so amazing, he'd eat every day. And he'd eat every day to the point where he doesn't want to talk about it anymore. But he doesn't do that because he can't afford it. You understand? So whenever you see anyone talking about bragging about the meal they cooked or this ingredient they got or that steak they had, just do, because people do that to me all the time. And I'm just sitting there going, hmm, you're poor, interesting. Oh, you're broke, yes, okay. Oh, you went on your birthday and had that steak. Oh, wow, mm, once a year. Broke talk, brokies. When you're trying to build a partnership and a life with someone, yeah. the end goal is you two together. Agreed. So why cheat? I know, I understand where you're coming from. My point is that relationships and life is full of double standards as a whole. A man's gonna pay for everything everywhere you go, right? This is, this is, do, is a man. Do you agree? No, I do like traditional. Okay, so you agree, so you're traditional, right? So if you wanna talk about traditional, let's talk about tradition. Every single man since the dawn of human time had more than one. Every single king, every single emperor, every single sultan, every single conqueror since the dawn of human time had more than one. All of them, every single one. Read the history book, read the Bible, it's all in the Quran, all of it. You wanna talk about tradition, it's all there. The only reason your mind is different, the only reason you believe differently is because of society. Society is going on the you. But on top of that, every single day he's sitting there with a fucking therapist. If you sit in front of someone all day, every day, and talk about all the bad things that have ever happened to you all day, every day, you're gonna feel pissed off. Even I would wanna jump off a fucking bridge if I spent 12 years talking to some dickhead about all the bad things that's happened in my life. It's detrimental. Sitting there crying about bad things is never gonna help you. If you're the kind of person who feels like they need therapy, you need someone to talk to, to make me feel better, do you know what you are? You're useless. Because in the harshest realities of this cold world, there are people in Syria whose entire families have been blown to fuck with a bomb from the sky, who are still getting up every day, making fucking bread and selling it on the streets so they have enough money to buy a new pair of sandals sometime next year. Well, you're crying about fucking nothing with your first world bullshit to some dickhead therapist who probably does coke on the weekends. I think the most miserable people on earth are those people who are born filthy rich. Imagine being born as an oil shake. Money has no value. A Ferrari, you think it's gonna make you happy? has no value, nothing has value. Everything is just whatever. Girls have no value, you can buy unlimited hookers, you can buy unlimited Bugattis, you can buy whatever you want, diamonds, it doesn't mean anything. You have to be broke to appreciate being rich. You, you need that. So anyone who's sitting there going, oh, I want money, good. You need to feel, how you feel now, being poor is what's gonna make you happy once you have money. This is a very key element to it. But I think, it's the, I think it's, the, it's the journey, not the destination. I think that money buys freedom and freedom buys happiness. I think that the rich people of the world, the, the number one most intelligent thing they did was convince poor people that money isn't happiness. And I think they did that to prevent revolts. I'm not saying money is the only thing that can make someone happy. I'm not saying money alone will make you happy, but money is certainly a factor to, to happiness. Yeah. It's kind of, yeah, you agree, right? It's like water, right? Water won't make you happy, but if you have no water after a week, you need water. It's all you think about, right? It's the same deal. You can't go without it. So the rich people always say, money doesn't buy happiness, but do they ever give their money away? You know what I'm saying? I am absolutely sexist and I'm absolutely a misogynist because I'm a realist and when you're a realist, you're sexist. There's no way you can be rooted in reality and not be sexist. If you're about to get on a plane and that plane's gonna fly through a hurricane and there's a 50-50 chance of it crashing and dying, do you want a male pilot or a female pilot? Just a fucking good pilot I want, that? We all know you'd want a man to fly that plane. <laughs> you, you would not want some uh -huh. woman to walk up the stairs. Hi guys, <laughs> we're about to go into the hurricane. You'd be like, what, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Give me an old white haired man. I have seen so many women fail to park and crash cars and do dumb shit. I do not want a female pilot flying me through a hurricane. I've seen enough female driving of all vehicles to know that that shit is a bad idea. Let me ask you another question then because you're Mr. Non-Sexist. Mm -hmm. Let me ask another question. Would you drop your child off in a daycare where it was run only by men? No, women only. Yeah, there you go then. So yeah, you do have a gender. Only, so so you do have a gender bias.